everyone, I'm Winnie. Um, so today was the first day that I um, worked from home and I ended up having a look at my students' work on Google Classroom and ended up giving them some feedback. So I thought I'd just share with you some of the ways that I gave them some feedback um, via Google Classroom and Zoom. So let's start and I will share the screen with you. I even made a list. Okay, so um, the first thing was I assigned a task to them on Google Classroom and I included the learning intention and success criteria and what a good one looks like so that I could give them feedback based on that. So I'll show you what that looks like. So we've been working on persuasive writing and their topic was children should continue learning at home. So I gave them what we were learning to do, um, the why, the success criteria on how to structure it. Um, thankfully, before all of um, this happened, we had already explicitly taught them. So this is um, the students, you know, putting it into practice and drafting. Um, so I put in a slide for brainstorming specifically for that why we brainstorm a criteria for it so that they can do it in the slide. And they, then they can also color code it as well. Um, and there's, yeah, also the criteria on the side so that when they draft it, they can reflect back on it and have a look for the introduction, argument one, argument two, three, conclusion. And then I also, uh, yeah, I'm getting them to self-assess so that they can give themselves two stars and a wish. And then they will be editing, revising, publishing it. Um, yeah, so this is all a draft. And then I also put in what a good one looks like so that they could see, you know, what a, what a good brainstorm looks like, um, what a good introduction looks like, arguments, conclusion and also to give them what a leveled leveled one might look like like a level one for an introduction or two or three for introduction and so on so on so yeah okay so the next thing is I was having a look at how the students are going and you can actually do this even if they haven't submitted their work in yet which is excellent because then um, this is how I ended up. So first, I ended up giving them um, feedback um, through the private comments. And then I realized that you can also go in and they will be able to see this too. And you can actually highlight um, bits and pieces of their work and then also highlight, you know, some feedback that you want to give them. And then, yeah. So I just gave them some feedback, highlighted certain things, um, related it back to the criteria because that's what I'm giving feedback on. And also it allowed me to highlight, you know, certain different things and also relate that feedback to that particular sentence, etc. Yeah, so I've done that for um, argument two and three. Um, and then I'll also give them some feedback when they're finished as well. Yeah, so that those were the two ways that I was doing that through Google Classroom, through the private comments and also on the slide itself because they are able to see that. Um, so, yeah, and then, you know, after they fix it up, then the kids can delete that later. Um, so while I was looking at my students' work, um, I had my class rollout. I started making notes and I ended up putting them into two groups. So um, one group were, was if they were meeting most of the criteria. So if they were doing that, then I just gave them feedback through the Google Classroom comments or on the slides itself. Um, if they needed more support or needed support to meet the criteria, then that's where the Zoom meeting would take place. So every day we have a daily Zoom check-in. And that's where um, I give, you know, I check in with them, see how they're going, um, go through the day's to-do list, um, 
what I found that was helpful was, um, side note here, um, by giving them time, um, like set a timer for, you know, 30 minutes, 40 minutes on this task. And that's the time that you allocate it to. Um, yeah, because at the moment in our timetable that we've been sending out, it hasn't, we haven't been given, giving the kids the times. Um, so I found that helpful to keep them on track. Um, also during the Zoom check-in, um, I've been giving them verbal feedback as well. So the notes that I've been taking on the class roll, I've been giving it to them via Zoom. Um, so that's um, via Zoom with the whole class. And then after that, the group who um, I will help with um, via Zoom um, with their writing or whatever it is, it could be comprehension or math, et cetera, then they will stay in the Zoom meeting um, as well as any kids with any questions and they stay in the Zoom meeting and that's how, um, that's how I'll work with them um, on their piece of writing um, because I'd, you know, I'd rather work with those people who need, the kids who need support to meet the criteria and be able to share the screen with them like I am with you and be able to talk through it, um, yeah, to help them out. So I do that through the Zoom meeting. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just share with you the different tips on um, how I've been giving feedback via Google Classroom and Zoom. Um, yeah, it's all a learning journey. So um, yeah, just thought I'd share. Um, but yeah, a few things to know about me. Um, I love pink, I love teaching, I love being a relieving assistant principal, and I hope you'll join me on a learning journey. So you can find me at Miss Winnie Tang on um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. So yeah, thought I'd just share um, what I've been doing. So I um, hope this is helpful. Anyway, thank you and see you and good luck with everything. Bye.